Tommy Blake. Wake up, Tommy, you old sleepy head. Time to get up, wash, dress, and eat a good breakfast. Come on now, or shall we have your sister Peggy get you up? All right, young fellow, just sleep on, but we're warning you. Uh-oh, here comes Peggy. There, that does it. Peggy's just as good as an alarm clock, isn't she? Say, what's up, Tommy? That tooth. Why, it's loose. It wiggles. Golly, a wiggling tooth. Peggy wants to see that tooth again. She thinks it's funny. Her teeth don't wiggle. Well, Peggy, they will when you're as old as Tommy. Anyway, we got Tommy up. But that tooth... Tommy, let Peggy see that again, will you? A wiggling tooth. Mother will want to hear about this. What's going on, children? Good morning, Mother. Mother, Tommy's tooth is wiggling. His tooth is wiggling. Yes, Mother is surprised. But she knows that Tommy's loose tooth means he's growing up. Breakfast is nearly ready, Tommy. Run along and wash, and take Peggy with you. That's it. Off with your bathrobe. Tommy's going to get really clean now. Let's have some fresh, warm water and plenty of soap. Then a good, sudsy washcloth. Your own washcloth. He doesn't forget a thing. Face, neck, and ears. And of course his hands. Hands need plenty of soap and scrubbing, especially before eating. After Tommy dries himself with his own towel, he'll tidy up the wash basin a bit before it's Peggy's turn to wash and to brush her teeth. Turn off the water so as not to waste it. Put the soap back where it belongs so Peggy can find it. Now for the next important step, brushing teeth. But be careful of your loose tooth, Tommy. See how it's done, Peggy? Up, down, up, down, the way they grow, and over the tops, too. That's the idea, Peggy. Now let's see how well you can wash. First, Peggy uses her own washcloth and towel. Then, clean warm water and a sudsy washcloth. Next, she washes her face, neck, and ears until they're clean. When you're finished, Peggy, rinse out your washcloth the way Tommy does. While you're brushing your teeth, Tommy will get dressed. It won't take him long. He knows where to find a clean shirt because he helped Mother put them in the drawer. Tommy put the rest of his clothes on the chair last night so now they're all ready to put on, quick as a flash. When Tommy has finished dressing and has done the best he can with his hair, he'll hang up his pajamas and bathrobe and put away his slippers. It's much quicker to get dressed when you don't have to play hide and seek with your clothes all the time. Just wait till Father hears about that wiggly tooth. I hope Mother and Peggy haven't told him already. Dad's already waiting for breakfast. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning, Tommy. Daddy, Tommy's tooth is wiggling. Well, this is a big surprise for Father. 
And like Mother, he knows the loose tooth is a sign that Tommy is growing up. Both he and Mother also know that growing boys and girls need plenty of good food. So every morning, Tommy and Peggy eat a good breakfast like this. That helps start the day off right. They make sure to come down in plenty of time to eat every bit of their breakfast. It's fun to have your meals with the whole family around the table. Peggy's having her fruit. That's really good. She always has fruit or juice for breakfast. Tommy's eating his cereal. He likes it with plenty of milk. And he always drinks his milk slowly. Well, it's time for Father to go to work now. And it's time for school, too. Don't forget to show your tooth to your teacher, Tommy. She'll tell you more about how to keep strong and healthy. Bye now. Here is Tommy at school. He's showing his teacher, Miss Bradley, the loose tooth. Tell us why Tommy's tooth wiggles, Miss Bradley. When you're growing up, you get bigger and stronger all the time. Your first, or baby teeth, are small. And as you grow, you will need teeth that are bigger and stronger, too. So your second, or permanent teeth, which will be larger, begin to come up and push out your baby teeth. Tommy's new teeth will come in slowly, and they'll have to last him all his life. They will, too, if he takes care of them. And of course you will, won't you, Tommy? What should boys and girls do to take care of their teeth? Jack says, go see the dentist at least twice a year. Yes, we should let him look at our teeth regularly and go back to see him as often as we need to. If we do that, the dentist will help us keep our teeth healthy. Sometimes, in spite of everything, little holes called cavities come into our teeth. Cavities can hurt. The only one who can stop that hurting is the dentist. Who else helps to keep boys and girls strong and healthy? That's right, Joan, the school nurse. And the doctor, too. If we go to see the doctor regularly, he will help us stay well. And when boys and girls are sick, the doctor helps to make them strong and well again. Now, what do the nurse, the doctor, and the dentist tell us to do to keep well and strong? Yes, eat good food. And boys and girls aren't the only ones who need good food. Look at the bunny. He's the class pet, and the children feed him and watch him grow. The food he eats is what makes his eyes so bright and his teeth so strong. Here are some foods which help us grow. Green vegetables, like lettuce and spinach, are very good for boys and girls, and rabbits too. Fruits, like apples and bananas, taste good and make us healthy. We should eat plenty of eggs. Fish. And meat. And finish all our cereal. And bread and butter. And, of course, everybody must drink plenty of water and milk. Milk is the perfect food. It has almost everything we need to grow big and tall and strong. All this talk about food is making everyone hungry, but especially the bunny. Miss Bradley brought him in one day when he was only a tiny baby rabbit, and all the boys and girls have been taking good care of him and watching him grow ever since. He's always hungry at mealtimes and nibbles the lettuce and carrots the children feed him. They keep his drinking pan full of fresh water, too. Now he's big and strong. He has the brightest eyes and the softest fur. It's time now for recess. Time to go out and play. Playing out in the fresh air is good for everyone but they must be sure to dress warmly when it's cold so they won't take cold themselves. 
The doctor and the dentist tell us that growing boys and girls need lots of sunshine and fresh air and exercise. Now school is over and Tommy comes straight home. When he comes in the house, he puts his outdoor clothes away because he knows how much work it is for mother to keep the house tidy and he wants to do his part. Besides, that way it's easier to find things when you need them again. After school, Tommy has an empty feeling in his stomach. So mother gives him milk and crackers. Tommy tells mother what he's been doing in school. She's very proud of his work. Tommy's learning something new every day. Peggy is hungry too, and a glass of milk and some crackers will satisfy her until supper time. After milk and crackers, Tommy reads a book while resting for a few minutes before going out to play with Peggy. Hide-and-seek is Peggy's favorite game. Peggy's it, and it's Tommy's turn to hide. Uh-oh, no fair peeking. They've been playing for an hour, and Tommy's having trouble finding a safe place to hide from Peggy. 17, 18, 19, 20, ready or not, here I come. Hello, Tommy. Now, Dad, don't give Tommy away. Uh-oh, you've lost, Peggy. Tommy got back to the tree first. Better luck next time. Hello, son. How's that wiggly tooth of yours? Mmm, not out yet? Very loose, though. Maybe pushing and make it fall out. Let's go in and get ready for supper. And Tommy, think about pushing that tooth to see if it'll come out. After supper, time flies. Soon, Tommy must wash up again before bedtime. Now's the time to try pushing that tooth. Careful. One, two, three. It's out. Oh, boy, it's out. Won't Mother and Dad be surprised? Now rinse out your mouth, Tommy. Sure looks funny, doesn't it? But it's out. And it didn't hurt much. Tommy could hardly wait to tell Dad about the tooth. And Dad is very proud of him. You and Dad are the men of the family now, you know, Tommy. Well, son, you've had a busy day and you need lots of sound sleep. Off with the lights. And then we'll open the window to let in the fresh air. That's the healthy way to sleep. Well, good night, son. Good night, Dad. Oh, boy. Wait till Peggy sees that tooth in the morning.